Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a review for Instacart and what it's like using that service. If you're wondering what Instacart is, it is a delivery service that magically brings groceries to your doorstep. So in order to use Instacart, you do have to sign up. It will be a membership of either annually or monthly. Of course, annually is better. You pay $9.99 versus monthly, which is $9.99. Of course, if you do the math, 12 months, you're going to end up spending more. So of course, you're better off spending annually. Now, whether you're wondering, should you even sign up for that or if it's worth it, if you are going to use Instacart a lot, then yes, I would absolutely suggest that you should use the annually. But if you're going to use it for maybe a month or two months, I really don't think it's worth it. I think you're better off just using it monthly. That aside, what you get with your Express membership, if you choose to do the annually is you get free deliveries over $35, you get reduced service fees, and you also get no busy peak hour fees. Instacart works by location, location, location. It'll give you a list of stores that are in your location that use Instacart. You simply pick whatever store you wanna shop at, it'll open it up to the screen, show you what's currently on sale in that store, and then other products based on category. Once you start using Instacart more, it'll start to personalize this list and you'll start to see things that say your products, your list or something to that effect. This can be very convenient when you're in a rush and you wanna make a quick order, you can easily click from your list and press add to cart and then do the rest of the checkout and you're good to go. I found personally that Instacart to me has the best list. The app is very easy to use. It is very broad on far, as far as what it shows you. You can click on the product, see the details of the product, see the nutritional facts of the products, and it usually has a very crystal clear picture. So if you want to be able to look at the product, you can also do that as well. That I also like very much about the app. Instacart will deliver your order as early as 9 a.m. and then go as late to 12 a.m. But once again, it just depends on the hours of the store that you're ordering from. You can get your order within two hours to five hours, and you can actually even plan ahead your order within the week. So now that I've given you the gist of what Instacart is all about, I'm going to go ahead and share my experience using Instacart. Instacart has you pay a lot of extra fees that you, of course, don't really see until you start to use the service a lot. There are service fees, even though they do cut them in half, you're still paying an additional service fee. You're paying a tip to your driver. You're paying busy peak hours if you choose not to do not to go ahead and be an express member you're paying heavy fees if you need to get pet food that's considered a heavy fee you will pay for that alcohol fees if you want to get a case of alcohol you have to pay for that there are also lots of things that you have to worry about when you have a stranger shopping for you expiration dates quality whether or not they're bagging things they should be bagging, like your produce. And these are very personal things that can really make the experience very crappy. In my experience, I had a lot of shoppers doing a lot of things that really pissed me off that I would not do. The total lack of care and Instacart's way of just not holding any of their shoppers or delivery people accountable for any of their actions when you do complain about them is what really kills the experience. I had several, and I mean several, <laughs> times deliveries that were just horrible. I'm talking about I wasn't getting knocks on my door. The products that I was getting were spoiled or leaking. I had a okay, I had an instance where they actually left my delivery on the hot on the hot concrete ground in Florida. It was sitting there for about two hours. I, I couldn't have that order. And I that was a $100 order. Trying to get Instacart to give me a refund or just help me out in some way was literally pulling strings. And I had to like threaten to leave them. Like it was, it was horrible. It wasn't something I wanted to do, but it was $100 that literally went down the drain because this person didn't knock and they didn't notify me. They didn't call me. They just didn't do anything to help me. The amount of times I had to complain to Instacart customer service for them to just basically brush it off and then just keep giving me refunds or credit it to my account. While this may be nice, this isn't a this isn't solving my issue and it's not showing me that you actually care because once again I then had these issues over and over and over again. People who are shopping clearly don't care about your groceries <laughs> and it's kind of a crapshoot. You're not really sure what you're ever going to get. 
Instacart is very detailed too, to where you can even put individual instructions for each item. And even though I did that on certain things, I still wasn't getting my items how I wanted them. And I still wasn't getting my order how I wanted them. And while some people may be thinking, you know, oh, that's, you know, it is what it is. At least, you know, go get it yourself. It's about the service of it. If I'm asking you to perform a service and this is the service that you're saying you're gonna perform, it needs to be performed right. The stores that Instacart partners with, they charge a lot more than you would normally get in store. I did some comparisons uh, in store and out and I'm gonna go ahead and show some examples. Um, for instance, Dave's Killer Bagels, the everythings, those are my fave. You can get them in Target for $4.79 or <laughs> for your convenience, you can go ahead and pay $5.75 through Instacart. Or if you'd like Uncle Matt's orange juice, you can go ahead and get that also Target $5.99 or Instacart $7.19. This one I'm not too sure about, but I'm, I know that it's not this expensive. Publix brand of onions, I believe they're listed at $2.99 around that. And Instacart has them at almost $5 for a bag of white yellow onions. And then the Organic Girl spinach, $6.99. Publix or like Target, Instacart has it for $7.75. Clear uprising of the prices and so that's why i say this service is very very like for people who can i guess afford it very convenient but it is not good for your pocket in any way shape or form i also had a lot of communication issues there were a lot of times that i asked for something they said okay sure didn't get them <laughs> never made it to the order and then instacart has this thing where the person can pick up your order once they pick up your order from the app you can no longer add or adjust whatever so you have to contact your shopper to then do it for you and then once the shopper is done the chat's closed that's it in case you want to add something you've missed your your time or in case you saw that they made an adjustment and they didn't wait for you to approve it it's too late so you have to just figure it out <laughs> There was one time I actually got lucky. I caught a guy, he had brought something that was like $37 instead of 27 and I was like, whoa, buddy. And I managed to catch him, but he had already left the chat. And so there's this, there's this closed window, you know, you have to hurry up and get your window before the person closes it and you can no longer reach this person. You can reach them sometimes through text, but it's not, it's not really efficient. And to be honest, in my experience, most of them really just don't pay attention. They just want to hurry up and throw the freaking groceries and run. If you want something to be delivered um, within two to five hours, you kind of have to put it in your in the mindset that this person only has two hours to shop, deliver. And that's a lot of pressure to put on this person. If you feel like you're going to add a lot of things later on, or if you're not really sure, kind of going to want to have to ask for five hours so that it gives this person time to breathe and be able to get everything that you want them to get. When you give them a two hour time, it does not give them enough time. I one time had a lady tell me that she literally could not go back because she had to deliver my groceries within two hours and she was running out of time. So she was freaking out. So I didn't want to give her any more stress. And I told her it's totally fine. It's not that serious. I don't need it. But it does go again. You know, it, it does mess up with that whole customer service experience where it's like, I can't get what I need now because she has to deliver my groceries within two hours. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you really want to save money through Instacart, you can do their referral program. They have five friends by email, Facebook, or referral link. You get ten dollars. You get a ten dollar credit on your first order, and then they get a ten dollar um, on their first order once their order is complete. Also, tipping. So tipping is a pretty big thing on Instacart. Of course, you can tip your driver. You can change your tip too. I, I believe they give you about three days to change your tip, so you can go ahead and change the tip if you want to. And the, the tipping goes. 100% to your driver. So whatever you want to tip your driver, you can totally do that and know that they're going to get it with confidence. Um, if you have an issue, Instacart is pretty clean cut when it comes to saying whatever issue you have at the end of the order. Once the person is done delivering the groceries, your, your app will then pop up and say, how did this person's delivery go? And that's your chance to go ahead and complain. And so conclusion. <laughs> 
So like I said before, Instacart is all about convenience. It's not really something that I would recommend for people. I would recommend using a different service. Uh, Cause for me, Instacart has a lot of things to change before I would consider ever using them again. They're just not, they don't value the customer the way they should. And it's unfortunate. And it's also annoying because they do have some great stores, or at least I should say they offer good stores around me. <laughs> where I say where I wanna shop, but I don't wanna use their service. So best option is to just get up and go. If you guys have used Instant Cart before, if you currently use it, if you're using something else, let me know how that works for you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.